Hi everyone, it's Agnes and good morning to you from London. Today I have a viewer's question and it's from Humphrey. So it goes like this. I have a question topic for a short video for you which may be interesting to discuss and answer in a YouTube. As you know I have just started my new job. I've been gravitating towards this change of career path for years and now since two weeks ago it is done. I'm learning a lot literally after the first week pretty much hit the ground running which is amazing. Just before the decision had been made and I was offered the job after a series of interviews I was experiencing this amazing feeling of living in the end borderline on ecstasy. Then the day after on my birthday the offer came. I have been full of enthusiasm and feeling very similar to that state of ecstasy ever since. The job feels rewarding and what's most important very promising for the future. Already I can see my future in this company in bright colors and my career blossoming and when I think of that yet again I'm getting this ecstatic feeling of certainty. And when I was expecting an answer from my interview and I know there was a huge promotion possibility within about a year's time and a project within walking distance. Excellent. So I guess the question and topic for further discussion is how big in your opinion is the importance of a good steady and prosperous job particularly in the case of a male creator for our successful manifestation? Well I look I think anything that makes you feel that incredible feeling that you're describing is a very important part of being successful in any other manifestation. Now why? Let's look at why. Anytime you feel horrible, depressed, hurt, unhappy, rejected, it's like you crash and burn emotionally and that then goes out and it's like nothing really comes to you that's uplifting or just really amazing like you're describing when you're in that state. Now perfect example Kamal's book Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It. What he did when he was incredibly de depressed and in bed and not wanting to get out of bed because he felt so rotten he made the change of repeating one affirmation and within a month he raised and changed his whole vibe and then things started to change externally. So for those of you that haven't seen that book I will put Kamal's interview and also the link to his book Love Yourself Like Your Life depends on it down in the description below. So going back to what you're talking about the importance isn't so much the job but the importance is the absolute rise and lift in how you feel. Now once you are on that rise and you've hit that amazing feeling because you're riding the wave of the manifestation that vibe then trickles down into other things like in this case and you talk about it a bit further and I will read so that people can hear what you've said after that in relation to a specific person. So you have said let's carry on. I believe that a successful professional career can bring immense benefits such as confidence, yes, self, sense of achievement, yes, financial stability, yes, sense of self-worth, yes, all of which are key components in manifesting right, yes. <laughs> as many of the viewers I ultimately want to be in a happy relationship with my specific person and eventually start a family with her. And I believe that thanks to a successful and financially rewarding job I can finally find myself in a position to be able to do that. Fantastic. You know, I do think when you are sweeping your side of the street through improving your finances, your meaningful work, your bodily condition, your, you know, if you've got debt, reducing your debt, cleaning up, decluttering your house, whatever it is, you start sorting all this out, it makes you feel better and better about yourself and it makes you feel more confident. Therefore, that is going to project out and then influence, affect any other things in this case 
the specific person subject or desire. So you said, but I don't only have effect on me, but I, I'm not sure exactly what that was, but it doesn't only have an effect on me. Okay, I think that's what you're saying. Big part of my SP's anxieties and fears had lots to do with the desire to start a, her own family, clashing with pressure from society to achieve professional success first, and the fear that she couldn't afford to have children. Yes, totally understandable from a woman's point of view. So if you have a man that you're attracted to who can take one pressure off, that way you can do the children, fabulous. So... Now she doesn't have to worry anymore because she has the support of a loving, caring partner who's able to provide for her and her children. Yes, a real grown and responsible man. Yep, lovely. I'm not saying that a well-paid job is a straightforward path to get your ex back, but when it's combined with lots of work on yourself, lots of reflection and self-development, it can be a stepping stone to attracting healthy, loving relationship, whether it's your ex SP or someone new. Couldn't agree with you more. I'm very curious of your opinion on that subject and will be interested to hear what you and your viewers have to say and comment on my theory. Yeah, look, I think when you work on all the other areas of your life, your health, your mental health, through all the stuff we do here, the self-love, the meditations, the affirmations, the scripting, the whole ponopono, the living in the end, da-da-da-da-da, etc., you become a person who just feels better in the world about you so when that happens then whether you go to work and you're dealing with a boss whether you're dealing with a family member whether you're dealing with your friends whether you're dealing with just the guy that sells you the bread down the road it's like people feel that in you and they are drawn to your energy energy of self-love is such an incredible magnet I mean, those of you that are experiencing self-love at higher and higher levels, you start to see, you know, people smile at you on the street. You get given things. You attract the parking spot. You get offered things. You get upgraded. You get, you know, gifts. It, things just start to come because you are the energy of I am love and I am happy and I am peaceful and I'm excited and I'm ecstatic and the stuff that matches that which is all these things that I've mentioned can come to you so going back to your lovely story and asking that question you are now in a position Humphrey that you feel amazing about your work situation about yourself as a man about being a provider and I think there is nothing wrong with that. I think that is a wonderful expression of joy and happiness and breaking free. I mean, when you get a pay increase and a job you love more and you feel you're doing more meaningful work, wow. I mean, I understand how that feels. It just is such an incredible feeling of freedom and joy that you get out of bed in the morning and you go, yes, I'm going to do that. What a wonderful thing you've manifested. So onwards and upwards, I think this is a step towards future manifestations. Definitely, as you uplift, the other things can come in because they're more of a magnet match. The better you feel, the better you attract. If you feel good, you attract good things. If you feel bad, you start to attract things that are miscreations. So everything works off how you think and how you feel. Thoughts are things, emotions create through magnetizing, okay? So I will put down below, Humphrey has actually done a few interviews with me already and we've heard from him along his journey. So I'm going to put those interviews down below for those of you who have not heard him. And I wanted to say thank you for sharing that. I know you sent that back to me in July, early July. So thank you for your question. And I will see those of you in the next YouTube. I will also put the viewers questions playlist because there's been some fabulous questions from many of you that we've worked through over the years. Lots of love. And I will see you in the next YouTube, everyone. Have a wonderful day.